So in this guest room, it's quite a small room, but I wanted to have some really good cupboards in here. So I've got some nice deep cupboards. I've got some drawers here. But the great thing is that all of this is fake. So instead of actually just having the cupboard in the center, I've created a whole wall of cupboards, but actually only some of them work. So it makes the room look a lot wider. Textures and fabrics are everything to me. I absolutely love them, as you can see. So here, the predominant color is obviously this beautiful white fabric. So the bed cover's done in that. To make it slightly more masculine and warm, what I've done is a khaki velvet, big wide runner on the top and then put a black one in a totally different texture on it. So you can kind of change the shape and the style of your bed by having different runners to put on top. And then you layer it with different bands and textures. And then by having a headboard that runs all the way across, it's a really clever way of getting this kind of geometric shape. These chairs belong to my great-grandmother and they're absolutely the antithesis of my style, but I love them. And what I wanted to do was make them slightly more modern. So I took all the old paint off and put this kind of chalky white paint on. But I also took the big cushion that sat in here. So now it just looks quite sharp and sculpted. And the window is quite low in this room. So a lot of people might have put curtains and a curtain rod really high, but actually what I've done is frame it with a shutter, makes it look much more modern, and then done a row of black and white gloss felts on the top. So the whole thing is absolutely framed. When you're creating lots of vignettes in a room, what's really nice is to have one piece of furniture which really stands out. And this is an antique plan chest which my mum gave me, which I love because I love the colour. It's really rich. It's got this beautiful, very sharp, modern black border with it. Then I've placed on top these very modern ceramic vases. But also, in the walk up to that, you've got these two massive sort of East meets West pots in the black mat, which I painted. So you've created this kind of illusion and this great set up against the Bloss felts there. I just love the way it's all mixed in here. 